student so let's start with chapter number 2 rational number i hope you all have understood about what is an integer which i have already taught you in my previous session and also must have completed your work so in the introduction i will give you a short review about what is an integer suppose if a comma b is an integer so a multiply by b or a plus b or a minus b will also be an integer but a divided by b or b divided by a is not an integer okay so let's see it with some example for example if a is equals to 8 and b is equals to 5 so a multiplied by b will be 40 a plus b will be 13 and a minus b will be 3 okay so all this that you are seeing over here is an integer clear but a divided by b that is 8 by 5 and b divided by a that is 5 by 8 is not an integer because because they are fraction or we can also say that it is an say it is a rational number so now let's understand clearly that what is actually the rational number is suppose p comma q is an integer and q is not equals to 0 so p upon q is a rational number example p is equals to 3 and q is equals to 7 so p upon q is equals to 3 upon 7 which is a rational number understood student there are some points that you must remember and those are points to remember and those are first one every integer is a rational number
बट कन्वर्स कान बी पॉसिबल स्टूडेंट यू कैन सी दैट कन्वर्स मीन्स दैट अपोजिट कान बी पॉसिबल दैट इफ एवरी इंटीजर इज अ रैशनल नंबर बट द अपोजिट ऑफ इट मीन्स एवरी रैशनल नंबर कान बी एन इंटीजर ओके लेट एस सी एन एग्जाम्पल इफ फाइव इज एन इंटीजर सो फाइव अपॉन वन कैन बी अ रैशनल नंबर okay students let us see that what is the converse of the previous case that if 3 upon 5 is a rational number so 3 and 5 can be a integer can be a integer but 3 upon 5 can't be an integer see the converse case is proved over here so now let's understand the another point every natural number is an integer and so a rational number say natural number you know what is the natural numbers are suppose 1 2 3 so this num natural number can be an integer also and also a rational number got it your next point is every whole number is an integer and so a rational number whole number student that is including 0 1 2 3 can be a integer also and as well as in the rational number rational number means 2 by 1 or 3 by 1 can be written like this okay so now let understand another point that is point number 2 this is the sub a uh, point of the uh, point 1 now point 2 every fraction is a rational number but the converse is not true how let us see that for example 1 comma 2 is a rational number okay in the rational number your point now this is point 3 in the rational number that is in the form of p by q p is called numerator and q is a 
denominator okay I hope this much is clear to you let's move forward to see with example for example 7 upon 11 so 7 is your numerator and 11 is your denominator understood now let us see the fourth point and that is positive rational number student what is a positive rational number a rational number is said to be a positive rational number if its numerator and denominator both are either positive or negative you have uh, seen over here that the numerator and uh, denominator are both negative or both in positive example 7 upon 11 are positive okay and minus 7 upon minus 11 is also positive because from here the minus sign will be cancelled and it will become positive so it is a positive rational number got it now the fifth one is your negative rational number student so in the negative rational number you have heard this in the uh, this one in the integer topic that if the positive integer is divided by the positive integer it will always give you a positive integer product and if a negative integer is divided into a by a negative integer it will always give you a positive product now the negative one for example in the negative integer either the numerator has to be positive uh, or the denominator has to be positive so this will become negative rational number here in this case the numerator is negative and denominator is positive and in this case numerator is positive and denominator is negative but it will be negative rational number okay now the sixth point is here the sixth point every positive our next point is every positive integer is a positive rational number when it is converted for example if I have taken positive integer that is 5 and when it is converted into a rational number that is 5 by 1 so it will be also a positive rational number now the second one every negative integer is a negative rational number for example if I have taken over here a negative integer and when it has been converted into a rational number so it will uh, give you a negative rational number understood now let's see the exercises question the first question is write down a rational number whose numerator is the largest of two digit and denominator is the smallest of four digit so your largest two digit number it is asking and that is 99 and the denominator is the smallest of four digits so 1000 is the smallest of four digit number because of zero okay now let's see question number two what is question number two is asking that write numerator of each of the following so here the fraction is given to you and you have to write the numerator so your numerator will be minus 125 and what will be this this is a denominator and that is asked in question number three 
right denominator each in each of the following 7 upon minus 15 so minus 15 will be your denominator i hope it is clear now the question number four find three equivalent rational number you have to find the three equivalent rational number as this rational number is so how to find it see first we will multiply the numerator and the denominator with the same number as i have multiplied and that is 2 and 2 so it is giving you 6 by 10 now with another number it is 3 that is multiplying it with numerator and denominator again so it is giving you 9 by 15 now again moving ahead when i have multiplied with by 4 uh, in the numerator and denominator so it is giving you 12 by 20 so finally i have got my three equivalent rational number okay and that is 6 by 10 9 by 15 and 12 by 20 so this is your three equivalent rational number with this i would like to end my first session of the rational number thank you